Good morning. Let's come together in prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Mass today, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you've shown us the way to God our Father. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd who leads us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Mass is offered for Luella Klein Rickert. I think I said that right. <laughs> O oh God, you open your kingdom to those who are humble and to the little ones. Lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Teresa so that through her intercession we may see your eternal glory revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job opened his mouth and cursed his day. Job spoke out and said, Perish the day on which I was born, the night when they said, The child is a boy. Why did I not perish at birth, come forth from the womb and expire? Or why was I not buried away like an untimely birth, like babes that have never seen the light? Wherefore did the knees receive me, or why did I suck at the breasts? For then I should have lain down and been tranquil. Had I slept, I should then have been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth who built where now there are ruins, or with princes who had gold and filled their houses with silver. There the wicked cease from troubling, there the weary are at rest. Why is light given to the toilers and life to the bitter in spirit? They wait for death and it comes not. They search for it rather than for hidden treasures. Rejoice in it exultantly and are glad when they reach the grave. Those whose path is hidden from them and whom God has hemmed in. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Lord, my God, by day I cry out. At night I clamor in your presence. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my call for help. Let, Let my prayer, prayer come before you, Lord. For my soul is surfeited with troubles, and my life draws near to the netherworld. I am numbed with those who go down into the pit. I am a man without strength. Let, Let my, my prayer, prayer come, come before, before you, Lord. Lord. My couch is among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no longer, and who are cut out from your care. Let, Let my, my care come, come before, before you, Lord. Lord. You have plunged me into the bottom of the pit, into the dark abyss. Upon me your wrath lies heavy, and with all your billows you overwhelm me. Let, Let my, my prayer come, come before, before you, you, Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days for Jesus to be taken up were fulfilled, 
he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem. And he set his messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan, a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there. But they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Start reading this week. Actually, yesterday's first reading was from uh, Job. We'll be reading the next few days from the book of Job. Uh, and, and kind of a fascinating story. Uh, uh, God having an encounter with Satan and, and telling Satan that, that uh, this wonderful man, Job, a holy man. And could he ever be, could he ever give up his faith? And, and, and the devil tests Job so much that he loses everything. We sometimes use the phrase, the patience of Job. We see today, Job isn't all that patient. <laughs> He's angry, cursing the day he was born, uh, you know, and, and we will see. His, the, the worst part is, uh, you know, tomorrow I think we're going to read about his friends telling him he's, he's the God is against him. Uh, uh, interesting story of, of, of how we deal with suffering, how we deal with difficulties in our lives. You know, that, that gospel today, Jesus goes to Jerusalem. And, and he's not welcome in the Samaritan village. And the disciples want to bring down fire, revenge, let's be angry. Jesus, the beginning of that passage, res resolutely is determined to go to Jerusalem. Nothing stands in his way. Not petty things like, you know, when people don't welcome us. Not petty things like the angers that we sometimes carry with us. He's resolutely determined, and he, he, he assures James and John in no uncertain terms, we have to move on. We have to move forward. I think Job is a good example of, of someone who actually learns that lesson. And so is St. Teresa. We honor Teresa today, the little flower uh, patron saint of, of, uh, of Floris, because uh, she uh, said that she would spend her time in heaven doing good on earth and the promise to, to the sign of that is often the flowers roses that that suddenly appear my uh, mother had a great devotion to saint Teresa, and and uh, I, I think it's a very popular saint died at the age of 24 never seemed to accomplish a great deal in this life lived in a convent had tuberculosis uh, she died from wanted to be a uh, Carmelite sister early on and and she even pleaded with the bishop and with the Pope finally at the age of 15 was allowed to become a member of a Carmelite cloistered community but St. Teresa especially has this notion of the little way it's the little things that we do the little things that add up and make a big difference kindness that we show one another in, 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 in little ways. And, and it's humbling ourselves to be completely trusting in God like children. Maybe that's the secret of, of uh, dealing with difficulties in life and dealing with suffering. Trusting that no matter what happens, God is in control. Let's strive to imitate that little way of trust in God like a child trusts in its parents. Let's Trust in God in the little things that we do and not get caught up by all those petty little things that get in our way and be resolutely determined to follow Jesus wherever he takes us. We stand to pray. In humility before the Lord, we bring our prayer for safety in our schools, our workplaces. May the willful destruction of life never happen again. We pray to the Lord. For our first responders, may they be guided by the Spirit in their work for protection and peace. We pray to the Lord. 
for those who do not agree with us, may we find ways to forge relationships and common ground. We pray to the Lord. For young women and men discerning religious life, may the words of Christ and the encouragement of their friends invite them to explore a life of love and service. We pray to the Lord. For our friends and family members who are sick and suffering, may they find rest and consolation. We pray to the Lord. For all the prayers, we pause to mention in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord our God, let our prayers rise before you as incense. Accept our prayers, accept our hearts as a sacrifice of praise. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we've received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, a loving Father. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Teresa, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly it is right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you give us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win the imperishable crown of glory. So with all the angels and archangels, the great company of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread Giving you thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, with all the clergy and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Thomas More, St. Teresa, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Trusting in the love of God, we can now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil, and graciously grant peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share that peace with each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Not worthy that you should enter into it, but only say the word and my soul shall be saved.
Thus says the Lord, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Teresa dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.